Hello all, welcome to Clark Technologies and welcome to Agile Scrum course. And um, in this series, we have already discussed about a couple of topics till Agile principles and uh, values and all. So, if you are visiting this video, it's the first time. I, I highly recommend you to watch our previous videos in this series and we have uh, created this in, in both languages. Uh, we have two different playlists for this Telugu playlist and English playlist. So pick up any language you want and uh, just go through the previous videos and then come back to this video. That, then it will be easy for you to follow the flow and understand the entire course in a detailed manner. Right. So in this video we will be discussing about what are the popular agile methodology frameworks. As of now, I mean, so far we have seen uh, uh, what is Agile methodology, what is Agile principles and all. So in this video, we will be discussing about popular Agile method. And these are the uh, major frameworks available under Agile methodology. And uh, even uh, among, in, among these nine frameworks, Scrum and Kanban is the most used frameworks. And even in my projects also, so far I worked on, I have used Scrum framework. Okay, So Kanban is also there, which is also popular uh, um, just like Scrum. But a few of the projects is using Kanban, but most of the projects are uh, following Scrum framework. So that is why in this course, in this series, we will be discussing about Scrum framework in detail. And we have another list of frameworks like this Kanban, Scrumban, Extreme Programming, XP, Lean, Crystal, Dynamic Systems Development Method or DSDM, Feature Driven Development or FTD, Adaptive Software Development or AST. So I don't want to cover everything in detail in this video, but uh, at the end of this course, I will try to cover at least a uh, few information about each and every framework so that uh, it will be easy for you to understand the differences between these different uh, frameworks. So if Agile methodology is same for all the frameworks, why nine frameworks are there? If only one framework will be sufficient, right? So, so there are little differences between these different frameworks depending upon the project or depending upon the uh, organization environment or project environment, uh, they can be, they will select uh, the framework. They means um, here the project team or organization. We will select this framework but uh, as i said earlier scrum is the most popular one which will be used widely in most of the projects or most of the organizations so i'll try to cover all these things in maybe at least few information about each and every framework in uh, any separate video apart from this course as of now just let's focus on scrum so this is the picture uh, here uh, this is the entire process of scrum how the entire scrum framework is working so at this point of time you might not uh, understand all these things together if i explain this picture okay so we have this flow this entire flow uh, to complete this scrum framework or to complete one sprint or to complete one project this is the recycling uh, like uh, repeating flow which is uh, uh, well, uh, which is applicable for each and every sprint cycle or each, each and every iteration i will explain everything in detail in our upcoming sessions as of now just remember a couple of things from this picture so we have in this scrum framework we have three different terminologies you need to remember uh, for sure what are that when uh, the one which i have highlighted in the green which are nothing but events sprint events scrum events or uh, yeah sprint events we can remember in that way okay what are these events or maybe scrum events what are these events or we have five events sprint daily scrum sprint planning sprint review and sprint retrospective these are all the five main events time boxed events which are uh, which we are conducting uh, very frequently to deliver the product successfully and effectively and the other one is artifacts with, with the names which i have covered sorry highlighted with this blue color those are called artifacts product backlog sprint backlog and increment we will be discussing everything in detail in our upcoming videos but just as of now remember we have three artifacts and five events and the one which i have highlighted uh, the names with the pink color those are the scrum team and we have already discussed earlier just one point we uh, just uh, discussed like we have different roles in scrum team so what are those roles product owner scrum master and development team remember one thing in agile methodology 
we don't have different hierarchies inside the development team just like a tl man team lead or manager or something nothing will be there development team whoever going to contribute to the particular sprint as a developer or as a tester entire team is called development team that's it no one is superior to another one and that is why development team is self organized team in agile we have seen this in agile principles right so no one are going to assign any task for you you are the one who i mean in um, among your team members you can decide who can work on which sprint um, i mean which user story and which task and then you can assign it to yourself you can start working on it we will see that process later in detail but remember there are no internal hierarchy all are are equal in development team whoever going to contribute uh, uh, as a developer or as a tester there is no separate development team or separate testing team even everyone is called development team only okay so so this is the actually uh, communication between each and every events artifact and uh, roles each and every i mean the uh, scrum team so i will explain this diagram later once we discussed all these things separately one by one so if you are aware of all these things in detail then it will be easy for you to understand this flow and this entire scrum framework so and before that you need to understand what is user story that is the first thing before we discuss all this events artifacts and roles you need to understand what is user story so our next topic would be user story and uh, we will be discussing lot many things about the user stories in our next video right so uh, before we going to that we need to understand couple of things and we need to remember couple of points related to scrum just to introduction of scrum so each sprint will have two weeks or maximum one to four weeks so as per the scrum guide as per the uh, recommendation of scrum guide each sprint or each iteration uh, should be minimum two weeks or maximum four weeks so um, we should not extend any iteration more than a month that is the first point you need to remember but even uh, even uh, nowadays uh, most of the organizations are following uh, two weeks sprint only to make things clear and to make things very smaller and two to three sprints uh, i mean combining two to three sprints as a single release like that they have planned so most probably you will be working in a two week sprint in real time projects some organizations are uh, differ one to another but uh, ma uh, major thing i mean major organizations are working on two week sprint only and uh, as per the scrum guide the recommendation of team members should be in a scrum team is nine maximum number should be 9 you can you can create a scrum team even with two or three members also minimum two or three will be sufficient and maximum numbers uh, team members should be 9 if you have increased the team size it is very difficult to uh, establish a communication and it is uh, very difficult to manage the team and all so that is why maximum team member size in your agile team or any scrum team should be 9 members in this 9 members also you can Uh, deduct two members like one is product owner one is scrum team sorry scrum master so maximum numbers uh, along with them nine and daily stand up call is 15 minutes everything is sprint uh, everything in sprint is time boxed in scrum framework everything is time boxed one like uh, there there is a specific time for each and every event there is a specific time for each and every call or something we should follow those uh, rules right so we will be see, we will be discussing about the other events and time boxes specific to each and every event but remember we have a, a, a while you are working in agile environment you will be having daily scrum call or daily stand up call it is called i mean uh, we will be calling it as a daily stand up call or daily scrum call it will be conducting uh, 15 minutes maximum what we are going to discuss in stand up call we will see later right so every day uh, every uh, all all of the development team scrum master product owner will connect daily to discuss the progress of user stories and to discuss of the sprint or project and plan multiple sprints until we deliver the entire product this is self explanatory this line so to deliver any product in agile methodology we are going to uh, divide them into multiple iterations or multiple sprints and for and in, by end of the each sprint we are going to deliver the workable working software that we have already discussed right so there are multiple sprint events planning review demo retrospective as we have seen in this diagram the green ones uh, 
so we will be discussing this in detail okay so end of every iteration we will provide working product that is fine we already discussed it and this partially finished product will allow feedback from the different stakeholders and improves modify in the next iteration this line also self-explanatory so this partially finished product means whenever we released some working software by end of the every spray every iteration in the above point that working software should be demoed to the customer or stakeholders they will provide some feedback right so it will allow the feedback from the different stakeholders so we need to take a i mean we need to consider their feedback and then we need to improve or modify our user stories or our requirements or our sprints uh, in the next iteration onwards so in the next sprint onwards we need to incorporate the modifications or any feedback any suggestions made from the stakeholders then self-managed and self-organized team so development team and the scrum team everyone is self-organized team we will be discussing more uh, in our next videos so release products and enhancements as frequently as many day as many times per day this is not per sprint as many times per day what it meant by so nowadays every project is following CICD right continuous integration and continuous delivery so if you consider that point uh, whenever we did a change whenever we implement one feature uh, when we deployed it into dev or when we uh, commit the code into that uh, dev branch it will automatically I mean it means here the pipelines the CICD pipelines and all it will automatically pick up the code and it will de uh, deploy or deliver the code uh, continuously this process will do continuously whenever you do some change the code should be committed checked and verified and uh, created creating the artifact and it will be deployed uh, automatically into the target environment that is in, in that case we are going to deliver the product continuously as many times per day if uh, some like uh, four developers are working on one application uh, four developers are done with four different features they will do the commit and they will do the delivery as many times as per day uh, because, so in that case four times we have we are going to deliver the product or sorry deliver that particular feature to the dev environment something like that if you understand CICD then this point will be clear for you if you didn't understand by this time don't worry we will we will be discussing this later in detail right so that is about this video to I want to introduce a couple of things before we are going to discuss in detail about the scrum framework so i hope you like this video in our upcoming videos we will be discussing all these things in detail so please pay attention please follow this series so that you will get complete understanding of agile and uh, everything right so i hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel please share this to your friends and uh, you can comment out any doubts uh, if you have we are very happy to help you thank you thanks for watching